guys how are you I missed you so much and um, I just wanted to come and I um, now you know what I look like at home um, when I've been out working in the garden all day but I wanted to come to you today and to um, show you and remind you what we've been learning in math because you know before we usually start our lessons we usually review what we've learned so last week before spring break remember we learned about liters and milliliters so your first question that you had when you learned about it was if you had a bucket of water or a container of water how would you measure it would we use a measuring cup or would we use a ruler and some of us thought that we might use a ruler, but remember we talked about using measuring cups and I showed you a bottle. If we wanted to know how much water was filling up the whole round bottle, we wouldn't want to use a ruler because that just tells us how high it is. We would want to use a measuring cup. And when we measure liquid, our unit of measurement is a liter. So, um, what do you think? If I have this bottle here, what do you think that is about? Yep, it's about a liter. This is about a liter of water. Now, if I took that and I poured it into a spoon, what would I be using to measure the spoon? Who remembers what that's called? Yep, a oh, milliliter, that's right. So when we have, this would be about five milliliters. Remember, milli is the smaller unit of measurement for liquid. And then we have liters, which is our larger unit of measurement for liquid. And so this week we're gonna be learning about mass. And we are gonna be using kilograms and grams to measure mass, okay? So today you are going to be doing a scavenger hunt on Monday if it's Monday and that's today you're gonna to be doing a scavenger hunt around your house for things that weigh a gram a kilogram or more than a kilogram okay so I'm gonna show you how you can figure that out first of all you need to know about what a gram feels like gram is your smaller unit of measurement for mass so this if you have a little peppermint it almost weighs nothing. That's about a gram. If you've ever held a paper clip, that's about a gram. Um, it is, I mean, it barely feels like you're holding anything. In fact, if you didn't know it was there, it's so light that you might not even know that you were holding it in your hand. Um, chapstick. Chapstick is another something that does not weigh very much when you hold it. Most of you probably have this in your house. The cool thing about items that you have in your house, a lot of them have measurements on them for you. So there's a secret. If you can't remember if it's a gram or a kilogram, you can use that to help you. This is about four grams. And you can't see it, but there's lots of little words and there it will tell you how much it weighs. So use that to help you, okay? So a gram is very small. It does not weigh much at all, okay? Then we have kilograms. So if you've ever held a dictionary, which I know most of you have, <laughs> you should be, then that is a kilogram. Um, another thing that you have in your house, probably some of you, is peanut butter. This is a large container of peanut butter. It's not the smaller one. Some of them are only this big. This one's kind of a larger container. This, and it says on the side, is 1.13 kilograms. That means it's almost a kilogram. So see right here, they tell you what it is. Ah! Okay, so this is a kilogram. Then I also brought a bag of flour. What do you think a bag of flour would weigh? Do you think that we would use grams to weigh it? Or do you think that we might use kilograms to use it. So would I measure, measure this with peppermints? Would it be about the weight of a peppermint or would it be about the weight of a jar of peanut butter or a dictionary? 
you got it. It is going to be a kilogram. It's going to be measured in kilograms. In fact, this bag of flour is 2.3 kilograms. It means it's about two kilograms. So when you're going on your scavenger hunt today, I want you to be trying to find things. Think about this bag of flour or a thing of peanut butter. If you have one at home, try to feel what it weighs because that's going to help you know. This is about a kilogram and then a gram is going to be much, much lighter. So you're going to find things that are a gram, things that are a kilogram. And on your work that you do this week, you're going to be learning all about grams and kilograms. You are going to also be doing some word problems where you have to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So remember those keywords I taught you on the different things that help you to know what to do. You can use paper, guys. Don't forget to get out paper. Draw out what it's asking you. That's the best way that you're going to know what to do as well. When we do our math word problems in class, we use paper. We don't just do it all in our brains. That's a lot for our brains to keep up with, okay? So, I hope you have fun this week learning. If you need me, always message me um, or Miss Ingle because I think that she, I'm going to be sharing this with her class too. If you need us, let us know. We are here to help you and we hope you have fun learning at home and that it's not too stressful. But we want you learning and we want you doing math. So remember to keep doing that. Okay. Bye guys.